Okay, so I got permission from the friend who owns this particular base to give a tour of it. Once he started figuring out how to better mess around with bases, he came up with an idea for one of his characters that, eh, to be frank, turns my stomach, but damn it if it isn't also funny. So, welcome to Bull Weevil's Evil Big Bad Bugs and Beings. It is a super group led by a guy named Evil Bull Weevil. I don't have any pictures of the guy. But if you can picture a bug wearing the tackiest, tackiest polyester suit imaginable. That's Evil Bull Weevil. And this is his base. Drink it in. It gets worse. So, you come into the base entrance, and the first thing you're greeted with is this uh, apparently living pile of garbage that you're standing on. As you can see, there are bugs running all over the floor. And the floor just keeps being covered in these weird super powered growths. So this is storage and invention. where Invention Salvage is held. It's so bad the growths are actually starting to overtake the storage racks. This is the Arachnos outlet. I imagine they have to periodically send people in to cut back the growths. But this is where you can get your purchasing and leveling up done. Talk to the face maker to do some costuming. Oh, oh God, some of it splashed on me. <sighs> I don't know how he did it, but he made a bunch of digital sprites actually feel like they're alive. And even the underground trial where a lot of this stuff comes from doesn't really feel like it's getting in your skin like this does. And then there's these. These are apparently bull weevils' eggs. Now, like I said, he's wearing a cheap polyester suit. So in order to afford his fortress, he's often engaging in 
illegal vehicles sales high-end sports cars military equipment that sort of thing this is the rifle range for his minions Here's where mystic rituals can be conducted. Another shooting range. Now, one thing I need to stress, this is a villain group. Evil Bull Weevil is a very demented monstrosity. So here's the prison. These people are held for ransom, experimentation, and food. the transport chamber or we're even using magic mushrooms to get from place to place and that is an ever geysering zet Now, one of the funny things, is that when you start to understand the mentality of one who went into this, you start to understand that these things are actually leading you through the base. Follow the zits to get to the portals. Follow the relatively cleaner growths to get to the utilities. And everything else. Such as this abomination upon the eyes. It's just extra fluff. So, here's medical. Now, again, this abomination upon the ice. This is actually the break room. Force fields to keep the growth at bay. So again, they need to bring people in to cut this stuff back. A surprisingly pleasant garden until you realize that these plants aren't supposed to be on earth This is the interior pond that apparently the whole base was built around. Maybe this is supposed to be like a sump pump. Uh, 
I have no idea why these people are fishing. Especially since this is shark infested waters. You're dangling your feet in shark infested waters. Come on, people. The water itself is um, not particularly good. It's full of all sorts of horrible junk. Oh, God, I got in it. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I having trouble getting into this boat? Well, that's because the boats have the same code that the vehicles do in the overworld. So PCs have trouble landing on them. And we slide right off. Twisted trees, bizarre formations, strange glowing mushrooms, and fungus spores floating through the air. And of course, a gigantic glowing rock for energy. So, there you have it. One of the most disturbing bases I've ever been associated with, with any of my characters. Unholy? Never change. I'm terrified of what you'll become. <laughs>